Hey, everybody. Welcome back. This is the final segment of TR Cinema. It's been a lot of fun this week, and uh, I think the guys have really enjoyed it, too. And uh, this, is, this has been really just such an experience getting to figure out how this whole multi-day live streaming thing works. And I just wanted to say thanks to everybody who's been on so far. It's, it's really been awesome, and we aren't done yet. There's still some really cool stuff coming up here. So I want to make sure we get everything tailored away there. There we go. So this morning we had G-Technic, of course, with Koenig and Justin Pate at the Rap Institute, followed by our lunch break, which we didn't film. But now we've got MTM Hydro coming up. So let's see what they're all about. You guys, we made it to the last and uh, final <laughs> part of segment, the session. Yeah. Session, you know, we've got uh, this next hour with our buddy Rob from Veloci here and MTM Hydro. So super excited to have you make your way over here. Yeah, I'm and to be uh, here. we're also going to have who do you got in the live chat helping everybody answer questions and stuff? <laughs> yeah, so uh, in Minneapolis, we got Mike Grendel uh, watching the YouTube feed and uh, Maddie Ludzak watching our, our Facebook feed as well. So shout out to those guys back home. Uh, of course, we have Derek. Anna and Sarah, who are all also standing by and, and tuning in and watching this broadcast. So. Awesome. Yeah, well, that's, yeah, that's awesome. So that'll be great for all of you guys watching. If you got questions and stuff, we're going to try and answer some of those here. But also, we want to get through like a little bit of presentation. We got yeah. Dane's Jag here, and we got a whole bunch of crazy cool new MTM toys here, which yes. we're really excited yeah. about. But again, if you guys have questions, you know, the gang from MTM will be there uh, answering those yep. questions right there in the live chat to help kind of move this along. So Rob, what do we got going here? What's happening? What's new with MTM this year? Yeah, definitely. Well, thanks for having me out. I appreciate it. Course, Obviously, yeah. especially this year, it's been so crazy, but uh, happy to be here And this place is just amazing, amazing. Yeah. If anybody out there <laughs> wants to experience something for real, this is not even another level, it's another planet over here. But um, this year, yeah, we've, we've had tremendous growth in, in several areas. Uh, we saw tremendous growth with our stainless steel line, with our spray guns, with the integrated swivel, which I'll get into in a moment. Uh, but of course, our foam cannons have done very well. Uh, the reality is people are, you know, they're home, they're cleaning and, yeah. and more than ever. And they're clean, you know, even like me, I was working at home from March to uh, August when they let me venture out a little bit. Yeah. But even I got to the point where I was foaming my garbage cans. Like I was just, I was just <laughs> bored. Deep clean, I was right? just yeah. bored at home, and I was like, okay, the playset's done. Now oh, this and that, patio furniture, and um, and so we realized that that everyone else is too, based yeah. on yeah. based on the growth. And so I uh, wanted to get out and kind of share some of those ideas and things that people have been doing, as it seems like we're kind of headed towards that similar path. But um, but you know, with the detailing set. Um, you know, Matt Mormon, who our good friend at Obsessed, yep. uh, you know, we've been around manufacturing, well, MTM Hydro in Italy has been around since the 70s. Mm -hmm. uh, for us in the States, we've been here in base Minneapolis since 2005. Oh. And so we've always made stainless steel swivels. We've always made spray guns. And a couple of years back, Matt had reached out and he's like, well, you know, you guys make these items. Well, why not put them together? 
And so about two years ago, we rolled out the SGS uh, stainless steel line. And so it has a built-in integrated stainless steel swivel. Yeah, and, which and, is huge. Yeah, exactly. And as you know, you know, when you're cleaning cars, your hose line has a tendency to get kinked or yep. wrapped around yep. something. And so the idea and the concept is that that's going to help pivot. You know, the gun's going to pivot with you instead of the hose line pivoting with you and getting twisted up and possibly slapping up against the car. Yeah. Um, so we started out in this in a, in a 4,000 PSI version because, you know, let's face it, a lot of guys who are cleaning cars, they're not running 5,000 PSI no, right or now. much yeah. higher. Correct. Uh, so that we thought that this was basically all that yeah. most people would need or want. Right. Yeah. Um, and along those lines, you know, we, we added in the, the stainless steel, 304 stainless uh, bent lance. So it's got a 15 degree bend. Mm -hmm. And again, the concept around that was just to make life easier for people. Yeah. So when you want to quick connect in, you know, and you're going to clean your roof, maybe not so much on the Jag, but, uh, you know, if you're doing a truck, you know, you're going up top, you're not, you know, your, your wrists aren't getting all wonky, you know, yeah. this is yeah. doing the work for you. Yeah, make, make basically more ergonomic all around. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, well, along those lines. Well, I'd just say, like, from the, I mean, everybody knows I've been detailing for a long time. Mm -hmm. And when I first started, and even right before I got rid of my shop, like, my guys, you know, I didn't, I always wanted to do, you know, the ability to disconnect, to change out stuff. And there wasn't a lot of options on the market yeah. for that. And that was what was so amazing was like this, you guys have done an outstanding job <laughs> creating this entire ability to just, uh, you know, build a pressure washing system literally that does everything you need it to do. It's comfortable, it's easy to hold, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. uh, my hands are shot. And I, there are still some very cheap guns on the market that yeah. don't feel good, right? Yeah. I mean, they just yeah. don't feel good in the hands. Your guys' feel good in the hands. They work well. Everything just flows. Yeah, literally. thank you. Yeah. And that's what we definitely shoot for, right? Because guys are using their hands. They're gripping polishers. They're gripping spray guns. One thing to the next, yeah. It is. It absolutely is. It's very tough on the hands, forearms. Uh, so our spray gun line, the Italian-made line, has the lightest pull pressure on the market. So yeah. a lot of uh, a lot of competing leading brands have that what's called a rollover uh, cam, so that it's a ball in there, and so it literally it, it pops when you. Wait, when I you have that. Yep. And uh, ours does not have that. It's a very smooth pin design, and yeah, so yeah. it's just so fluid. Yeah. I mean, I, I the office they they're so sick of hearing me say this, but it's so <laughs> easy a kid can do it because literally <laughs> I've put my five year old in front of his power wheels and let him foam that up. And yeah. Well, and that's what I, I have. I have this gun as well at my house with uh, with the cannon, and same thing. Like mm -hmm. I changed it over, and it's easy enough that my kids that they come running when I'm yeah. getting ready to wash yeah. the cars because they're like, I want to do this. I want yeah. a water gun. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's how they that's, see that's, it. That's, that's a, like, it's a big step soap. up above the super soaker, right? Yeah. They yeah. invite their friends over. They say, you want to have a super soaker battle? Their friends show up with a little pump, you know, little pump sprayers, or not pump sprayers, but you know, pump guns, yeah. mm -hmm. and then your kid comes out, right? Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. pressure washer started up, right? He's like, are you guys ready for this? He does do that. He'd annihilate them. Yeah. I've, I've absolutely foamed my kids before. <laughs> uh, yeah, especially if they get their slip and slide out and yeah. just Have at lay it. the whole thing down. That's so, awesome. Yeah, and so those are some of the, these are actually about two years old, so newer, new to us, mm -hmm. right, newish. Yeah. Um, New items this year, everyone knows, you know, we're really well known for the foam cannon, of mm -hmm. course, the PF-22. Uh, so if you've, you know, seen this box anywhere, going across your mailman's, uh, you know, truck and, and going to someone's doorstep, the PF-22 box is, is uh, fully redesigned. Uh, the PF-22 2.2 bottle is basically, they expanded the base about 30%. Uh, shorten the height a little bit so your center of gravity is much lower. Yeah. Now we're showing the bottle here. It is full, but even when the bottle's empty and your body's on top, which is the foam cannon nozzle, it, it, it doesn't tip over anymore. It's a standing. Yeah. Which is a big deal. You, you know, people don't think about those. You know, it's you make something that goes to market, you're like, wow, this is yeah. awesome, and then set it down, and that's what happens is a lot of it, people set them down and it tips it's over. Tip, and, yep. And it it's, out. You, you deal with it, but it's frustrating. And so to mm -hmm. have something that's now something so simple hey let's let's make it sit this way yeah it's huge it's mm -hmm. huge so yeah yeah it definitely is it made a huge huge difference so in the foam cannon kits you know one of the other things too we heard is that i don't know i you know with professional guys oftentimes they're using all the solution in the one liter bottle right yeah. but a lot of uh you know prosumers at home they're they're using maybe half a bottle 
on their two cars. So right. they don't necessarily want to ditch the other half because let's face it, they pay good money for that soap. Yeah. So uh, we throw in caps now for each foam candy kit so that people Perfect. can conceal them up just like it's shown there. Yeah. Which yeah. I think is smart because I know Anthony and I do a lot at our houses and that I, that's my biggest thing is like I literally have to dump out the foam cannon in my wash bucket and I've kind of changed the dilution of my soap now. Yeah. And like, uh, this is a sturdy cap too. Yeah. yeah. This is yeah. a sturdy cap. Yeah. So we, that's when you were doing that, you pulled it out and you just set it on here. It's the first time I've seen it. I was like, well, what is that? That's nice. that yeah, sorcery. So, I mean, you can, you can drop it. And also and shake it up and your product it. that way if you want to that's shake exactly it up that way it. as well. Yep. And so people go to mix it up. You don't have to sit there and shake the whole, yeah, the whole, the whole deal. <laughs> uh, you just shake up the yeah. bottle. You like that? It smells good. I do like. I do like the smell. It's, I, it's I do. I'm excited. Between, excited to see it foamed because I think somewhere that's between what, cotton candy and, and, and cherry. Yeah, somewhere between. I, and that's that's. that's I like mixing things. Let's just say. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, I have my own scent line. You know, coming out here eventually. It's not starting good, but you know, eventually. <laughs> hey, hey, it's practice all <laughs> yeah, day. Practice, yeah, practice makes perfect. So, um, so basically, uh, so tell me kind of the game plan of what we're wanting to do today. So we have Dane's Jack here. We do want to foam that here in a little yes. bit, right? Yep. And we are going to kind of build up the gun and show people how this is all going to work out. Uh, mm -hmm. I do want to talk about these other new attachments that you have and, and, mm -hmm. and kind of dive into those. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, great, great questions. Yeah. Some of the new attachments we have this year are our mezzo valve line. And so mezzo in Italian literally means middle. Um, and so one of the things we found over the years in, in our sales analytics kind of speak to this is a, we, we've seen in the industry lats lengths getting shorter and shorter and shorter based on people's yeah. purchase history. And I mean people I'm talking on a global scale, right? Yeah. Um, but what we found with the detailing set is not everyone has, say, 20 to 36 inches around all sides of a vehicle. Right. And so a lot of people have gone to what's, what's called the short gun method or the snub gun, stub gun, mm -hmm. shorty, mm -hmm. whatnot. Uh, and so the mesel valve was built out of the idea that, um, let's face it, pressure washing is not easy, right? Yeah. It seems easy on the surface, but when you start getting into it, there's you know, gas, electric, there's female, male, pipe threads, uh, British yeah. BSP, MBT, yeah. and it gets, you just get lost in the minutia real fast. Yeah. So we wanted something that was kind of one, one item to control everything, if you will, kind of a Lord of the Rings mm -hmm. reference. Yes, so, yes, the one ring to rule them uh, all. I exactly, know. I and so, so with the mezzo valve, it gives you that ability to uh, connect your foam cannon to it. Just for now, we'll put that on. And so we have this all set up for quick connects, of course. Um, oops, wrong side. You put your spray tip in the left side, foamer on the right, and then it gives you a one, just one unit, left and right, touch the button. So if you want to switch to water, you hit the button, switches to water. Uh, or if you want to switch to foam, yeah. you can do it that way. Um, I, I dig and that. it moves the valve basically and allows the liquid Moves the valve that's left awesome. and right, exactly. Um, and so this has been a great seller for us uh, this year. We continue to find more and more applications, not just in detailing or truck washing, uh, but in, in industrial uh, different applications. Yeah. The two nozzle, uh, two lance, which we call the Toro or the Bull, mm -hmm. uh, for obvious reasons. Yeah, 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 there you go. <laughs> uh, you know, it's great for two-step washes. So if you're using okay. an acid and alkaline to shock those, you know, those, those chemical bonds and shock yeah. the paint and everything. Yeah. Uh, this one's perfect for that. So you don't have that downtime of letting your acid sit on there or, you or your over, alkaline sit yeah. on there. Yeah, you can rinse at the, neutralize it. And so yeah. your, your runoff is pH neutral, of course. Yeah. Uh, and so the mezzo has been new for us this year. Um, we did an upgraded stainless steel line going from 304 stainless with this set. And we have it hooked up in back uh, with the 316 stainless steel, uh, which is our light blue, which we call the aqua line. Okay, cool. And so that's been new for us this year as well. Um, yeah. Some of the key differences, you know, people are like, okay, well, they're both stainless. Mm -hmm. This one's blue, this one's black. What, do I need this? Why? Yeah. And so the, the key differences there is, is you're talking 316 stainless versus 304. So obviously we deal with a lot of chemicals um, for our commercial guys that really deal in some of those, you know, real harsh chemicals, uh, hydrofluorics and stuff like that. Those guys are wanting going to want to upgrade to your 316. Uh, the, I think your typical car guy, your prosumer at home, is probably great with, with uh, the standard you know, 304 stainless line. But if you want to do something a little different, a little flashy, that blue 
really stands out and really pops. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And and let's face it, like it is commercial grade. You can throw this thing around, you can just kick it down the driveway and it's still gonna work. I mean, it's yeah. quality equipment. Awesome. That's great, man. Well, well sweet, I'm, I'm dude. Excited, I'm excited to get started. That thing, that, that, the, the Toro, the bull attachment, right? That thing is what's, what's gonna take the, uh, the super soaker fight to the next level, right? <laughs> you show up with this, and that's when the, the kids are gonna know yeah. that you're serious. And you start uh -huh. spraying them, and they're like, oh my gosh, is that acid? And you're like, oh my god, I forgot to change out <laughs> yeah, yeah. the no, soap. No, don't put spray that, them with yeah, that. Like, yeah, I need to put the, uh, the herbal essence back in, or whatever the heck people like to use. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's but, the baby yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. So it's not gonna stain the eyes, right? <laughs> right? But that button is really cool. That is actually, it's very satisfying to press. It, you know, and yeah, you were playing with these a little bit earlier yeah. uh, off camera. And you you, you kind of got me thinking about a different c configuration. Well, man, you start, the start three building these things up. Man, it, you can never, it never ends, right? We uh, yeah. Extension yeah. off of extension. Yeah, like you were saying we can literally build this <laughs> up. <laughs> the uh, the try. Yeah. yeah. Get that to stick in got, there. Then you've got two. You know. <laughs> well, we're about to go. We're, we're about to do Ghostbusters. Uh, we're about to go some action. You know. <laughs> we can click it on over here and run out of this one if we need to. We'll be we we'll be dropping on. containers and reloading, oh, right? Oh. More foam. Oh, Taking on like get like a great, sling. Right? You can just like throw it on the back. <laughs> yeah, bandolier. Yeah. I mean, Something could, like that. We're grabbing <laughs> ammo. We could really, if we needed to, because the weight's going to be, you know, down probably over here. Be better for this one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Because that, that way we've got this to help too counter many, too the weight. Too many attachments at, the, right? at this point, though, Levi. But then, you know, we get up here with the long, and then down here we can put another shorty. Okay. I mean, that, then we're, we're covering all bases. Yeah. I think people you, right? you got, we're losing it now is what, is what I think people we are. actually think. We are. are. It's late in the afternoon. <laughs> but I'm excited to see how this thing, uh, how this thing does its stuff. So, yeah, we're going we're gonna to get it all set up here on the thing. Dane, how's it going over there? How's the chat handling? Over here, getting some love for MTM Hydro here in the comments. Can't hear him, but... Oh, double checking. Can you hear me now? Yeah. I don't know if they can hear me. I can but hear you Oh, now. we can hear we you. Oh, you can hear me. Clear. Okay, uh, just wanted to make sure that. All right. In the next room, we, we can hear you. Not to worry. So, actually, I had a good one from Ricky Colon. If uh, Rob could please explain a little bit more about the Toro attachment. He just wanted to understand it better. He thought he maybe missed a little of the explanation of w how that came to be and what the use case for it is. Yeah, so, uh, great question. Uh, it came to be, um, so we were looking for a uh, solution to basically the problem of having to take fittings on and off to, to rinse. And so the concept was behind this was, well, what if I had a product where I could leave my spray tip in and my foam cannon on and I never had that downtime. I never had to worry about, oh, my hands are wet trying to get them into my pockets or did I set it on the railing of my, of my deck? Mm -hmm. And so we really sought out a solution to be able to leave everything intact. Um, oh, there we go, sorry. Yeah. Of a spray gun, foam cannon, and your spray tip, which we got one over here, I'll grab it, it just to Thanks. show everybody. Uh, so the concept for this was having time, convenience, and efficiency yeah. of use. And so guys that are cleaning all day, you know, seconds add to minutes, minutes add up. It'll mm -hmm. say you can save seven minutes on a vehicle and you're doing, oh, yeah. you know, five vehicles. That's give or take a half hour a week, or excuse Let's me, a half hour a day. Perfect. And so, yeah, and so there's your spray tip. And so, like I said, the idea is just like Quick Connects, right? Mm -hmm. It's convenient, it's easy to use, you pop things on and off, but in this scenario, yeah. you don't have to pop well, anything off. Yeah, and so like back in the day, what I used to do was, especially like you were talking about acids. Let's say we would, you know, for many of us in the professional realm, we would be using a hydrofluoric acid to acid wash a car, mm -hmm. right? So you'd either acid wash the paint or you'd be doing something where you're flashing wheels, Yep. right? You're trying to shock the wheel, yep. especially like an original, like the old style polished aluminum, yeah. you'd shock that wheel to get all the, all the grit and mm -hmm. gunk that was stuck to it. But that wheel would turn white mm -hmm. when yeah, you'd spray flash. it with yeah. the thing. And mm -hmm. as it was flashing white, you'd, ha you'd go around and you'd hit a wheel and then you'd either have a guy behind you with the pressure washer yep. ready to hit it after a few seconds and yep. then you mm -hmm. could go on to the next one or you'd stand there spray it and then pick up the gun <laughs> off the ground and, yeah, and yeah. spray it. Yeah. Or the gun was just running, you didn't want it, you had to leave it running because mm -hmm. we didn't have an auto shut off or anything and you didn't right. want to run it dry. Nope. So it was a, I just remember those days. Yeah. And yeah. going, I just have a guy 
standing here with a trigger pulled running water uh -huh. and then I'm spraying, getting it on there, making sure everything's done. And this, I'm like, wow, I could have just put acid in my bottle, sprayed everything, Acid, and then up rinsed line, everything yep, off. You shock it all and then it's a touch of a button. You don't have to worry about anyone behind you. You don't have yeah. to worry about switching out tips or bottles. Yeah, huge it time is, saver. It is, yeah, exactly. A huge time saver, yeah. ease and convenience of use. Now, admittingly, the, you know, the, the two Lance design, the tour design, is not for everybody, right? right. And if you're not into two-step or, or acid washing or whatnot, you know, definitely check it out. I think it's really cool. I think it's the truest, closest you're going to get to a two ca touchless car wash. Yeah. 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 And mm -hmm. what, what's funny is people don't realize, even at home, is nine times out of ten, when they go to the gas station and or, or Costco touchless car wash or whatever, they're already experiencing a two-step car wash. They don't right. even realize it. Right. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's it's... It's much more widespread than people would think. Yeah, well, and you know, it's a, it, the, what I love too is the normal application just for home. Mm -hmm. You know, let's I'm say you get like, a driveway I'm thinking, cleaner. Like, I'm thinking brake buster, and I'm thinking, yeah, but, uh, and I'm thinking like GSF, you right. know, or yeah. I'm thinking something like that. I'm mixing you could my do that. wheel you cleaner could do, myself. You know, there's a ton of stuff. Like, and I'm thinking like garages, driveway cleaning. Yeah, mm -hmm. degreaser. All that yeah. stuff. You could fill your foam cannon with a, with a, with a, you know, concrete spray you know to clean yeah. your concrete and then you could even run it where you're running this guy and you've got the longer lance yep. you know for spraying your concrete but you you've got your foam cannon on the other side so you can actually spray your cleaner all over the concrete let it do its job mm -hmm. to kind of to sit and then you've still got that so you can get it all foam, sprayed down wet spray it with the foam with the cleaner mm -hmm. and then start back up at the top while that foam's working you could yep. just you're, you you don't have rinse. to stop and change everything yep rinse yep. stop down yeah so exactly i'm I, I see a lot of application a lot of time saving use for this as yeah. well as you know glass cleaners window cleaners because they make those products now where you can add them to your mm -hmm. to your you mm -hmm. know thing where you can spray the windows on your house you mm -hmm. can spray mm -hmm. the house cleaners themselves like the the because they made there's a whole line of chemicals for rain next those windows or something those. right go yeah. do something so you can no, spray a lot of stuff and options. get the whole place clean very easily just in the industrial and home use yeah. uh you know all the different pressure washer companies that go through and clean parking lots that clean yes businesses yes. like this is this these have so many applications for so many different mm -hmm. markets yeah. So. And, and the great thing, of course, I'll, I'll plug our, our manufacturer, of course, you know, the foam cannon, the spray gun, uh, all Italian made, the lances, all Italian made, uh, the, the valve assembly itself is actually made in Germany, but final assembly is in Italy. So these are all great European made, well thought out, well engineered. The meso valve has been, strangely enough, uh, our most controversial product to date. People really? trashed it online when it first rolled, when we first went to market with it, they're like, oh, it's just over engineering. You're creating a solution to a problem that, that doesn't exist. Yeah. And ah, uh, you know, and I was like, wow, hey, whoa, back up. Like you don't like options. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's People like, don't okay. like options. Whatever. It's yes, like, don't like options. You know, if you like, but the reality is if you like quick connects biddings, if you have a quick connects on your pressure washer, conceptually it's kind of the same. It's it's it is. it's about convenience, efficiency of use, speed of use and just being efficient. And so that's yeah. really what we, we shoot for. And so much of what we make is, is for the commercial guy, the guy that's really in the field doing it every mm -hmm. day. Uh, and of course, people at home want the best as well. Well, and the best thing is, like we're saying, it's efficiency, it's ergonomics. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Day in, day out, it's the same movement for a lot of these folks. Yep. And so if you can limit it or lessen it, make mm -hmm. it easier on their hands, easier on their body, um, that that goes a long way into allowing them to continue what they're doing mm -hmm. without other issues yeah, that, absolutely. that stem from that. Absolutely. And so even, you know, like you said, that trigger, it really <laughs> does make a difference because for a number of years I had that where it was a pop to pull it yeah. back and then the gun would kick. And I mean, it was mm -hmm. just, it hurt. Yeah. You know, yeah. on Recoil top of the whole to thing. thing. Yeah. yeah. So it's, it's, and it really is, this is a, well, I, I, am, I geek out on, on this stuff. Like oh, it's fun, it. and it was fun to see when Matt started going deep on it because I was like, I have been waiting for somebody to do <laughs> somebody this. Needs like, to make make this solution, whatever it may be. I've got yeah. a few questions or comments that involve that coming up here too. Go for it, so yeah. I've got Ricky Cologne basically following up there, which was you guys were talking about the meso valve. He actually followed up and said that he'd been eyeing it for a while, and now he's thinking he'll pull the trigger on one. So literally, I mean cool. literally. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah. And like uh, then he followed up also by saying that Levi was going full Terminator mode when you guys were putting yeah. them all oh, yeah. together there. No, I'm, I'm going to mess around. I'm going to have one of this whole setup in my house. <laughs> and then we got Adam here who says he recently got the phone cannon. He really likes it. And we've got Ryan here saying, I recently upgraded to the SGS-28 from Obsessed Garage with Swivel, and it is so much nicer than that cheap one I got on Amazon. There you um, go. We hear that a lot. Yeah, yeah. Right. thanks for the feedback. Yeah. And uh, let's see. Also, I've got... Oh, oh no. It's Joe. He's back again. Oh, Joe. <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh, so. Question for Rob. Can he demonstrate how to pop it to properly foam a vehicle? <laughs> Momentarily. In a little bit. Momentarily. Momentarily. Okay. Okay. I think he's waiting for that moment. Uh, oh, no here's a good one. Uh, I got from Humberto here. Uh, it says, do these include the nozzles, or do we have to purchase them separately? If they are included, which are they? So I'm thinking he's wondering about what's included, say, when you buy one of these. That is a very good question, actually. That's a really good question. Uh, no, no, we don't include the <laughs> nozzles. <laughs> but uh, the reason being is, is not that we're looking for this extra ad on sale or anything like that. Uh, goes back to what I was mentioning earlier. Pressure washing is, is easy and straightforward as it seems. Mm -hmm. There's definitely a science to it. And so uh, the reason we don't include nozzles um, with, with our packs is because we, they need to be right sized to your pump and motor. And right. every one is different. If, you, if you're getting uh, the Ryobi, the Sanjo, the AR, the Comet, the Kranzla, they're all different. Yeah. Gas, electric, uh, you know, 2,000 PSI at two gallons a minute versus 2,500 PSI at three gallons a minute is right. totally different. And so you need to truthfully right size your, your nozzle tip, uh, any of your spray tips to, to your pressure washer. And so we do have a, a nozzle size calculator is what it's called on our page. Yeah. Um, and you can actually Google it too. Um, they're, they're, they're all out there, but we actually have an automated one where you just plug in your specs and it'll spit out what size specifically you need. Nice. And then all of our spray tips do come actually engraved where they will actually say on them, uh, well, this collie won't be able to see it, but there's some engraving right there on the tip oh, of that okay. ledge there. And so it'll tell you what okay, specs are yeah. on there. Yeah. But, nice. uh, but yeah, no, that's a great question. But definitely check out our nozzle size calculator if you do have questions about nozzle sizes or, um, you know, or any of these guys can help you. There you go. Yeah, you. Absolutely. And uh, I got one here from our good friend of the show, Hans. As always, dipping in to say hello and also wondering where the best place to get MTM products in Europe might be. Ooh. Uh, wow, I wish I could ask back where in Europe. Uh, kind <laughs> uh, well, of he's question. based in the, yeah. Oh, sorry. Go ahead, guys. Hans is in the Netherlands. Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. So, okay. Uh, so, uh, Yum Cars, uh, Y U M, Yum Cars in the UK, um, I believe in Hampshire. If I'm saying that correctly, uh, for sure is our UK dealer. Um, oh my gosh, I'm drawing a blank. Uh, we have a guy. That's in okay. Your guys in the comments can definitely handle it yeah, too. They can, yeah, they can <laughs> yeah. Young Cars has distribution uh, throughout six different countries: Cyprus, Estonia, Belgium, Luxembourg, France, uh, and I want to say Germany as well. Uh, don't hold me to all that completely, but but yeah, we can definitely uh, through Young Cars. If he reaches out to them, they can definitely get him what he needs for yeah. sure. There you go. Cool. Yeah. All right. Excellent. And uh, I got Kirby Thompson here asking if the Mezzo comes with the Quick Connects. Yes. Yes, it does. It'll come with uh, everything assembled. Uh, if you get the Toro edition, it does come with the handlebar because the reality is with two foamers on there, it does get weighted down. That's basically two and a half pounds at the end of your mm -hmm. line. So it does come with a handle. Uh, we've had some people, I personally like to have the handle here. Um, uh, some people like to actually just, if you, you can unscrew it here and spin it around, spin it around ah, if you want. Handy. Uh, so <laughs> some people do like to, to do the center grip, kind of the West Coast. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, like <laughs> yeah. A, that's like a little, <laughs> little sideways action. That is. <laughs> yeah, but it does come with, with, yeah, both fittings, quick connect. So yeah, so you're ready to roll. Yep. Nice. Sweet. And uh, Grant Hontree, our, our friend from New Zealand here, asking, once again, the important questions. Will this MTM kit improve the look of a silver Gen 2 Ram 1500? 
think that's Ooh. an Anthony question. Jeez, I, I, I would hope so, man. I, <laughs> I am really leaning towards that, right? The bull horns. And that's the other thing, mm. too. When I'm done using this as a, as a foam cannon, this actually makes a great hood ornament, right? So basically, that's just well, going to go. Well, you're just going to put a quick connect in the in the, in the, in the hood. hood right? Right? So, yeah, yeah. Can, so I always like I, I keep that thing on me, basically. So yeah. you know what I mean? I'm like, oh, I'm at the wash, pop that thing Don't off. Leave home without you know, it. When I'm driving home, people know <laughs> you're going to get the horns. You know what I mean? That's right. right? That's right. So like it. you just drill a little hole, put a grommet in there, and yeah, exactly. I'm like, Levi, oh, yeah. caught a bird today. <laughs> <laughs> How did you catch it? <laughs> uh, let's see. I've got another here from Contrabita here saying, I just got the M22 to 3/8 stainless steel quick connect. Thanks, MTM. It completes an all stainless steel setup. Nice. Heck yeah. Right on. Good. And good. Glad then you like it. I've got Will Alexander here. Let's see. Do your phone cannons fit? To the Gurney Pro pressure washer. Now I'm not familiar with that, but perhaps you know. Uh, yeah, I, that one I, I'm gonna say yes. Okay. Uh, and re, I'm not familiar with the brand, full disclosure, but I will say yes to that, and here's why. Uh, each foam cannon kit does come with uh, a pack of fittings, so uh, both an M22 style, um, as well as the quick coupler, which I already took out the bag to to put on here. But, uh, but yeah, so we, we include both fittings uh, to basically accommodate for 98% of what's on the market out there today. That's okay. awesome. super cool. And yeah, I, no, it's always good to add the adapters. Yeah, yeah and I wonder if, it, if he meant, uh, is it Genie? I think there's uh, an Australian one called Genie out there. Oh, uh, maybe, that, maybe it's just a typo, because yeah, like here that. it's G-E-R-N-I. Yeah, so. yeah, and who knows, there's, there's so many OEMs yeah. out oh, there, yeah. but yeah. But, uh, but yeah. Well, anyway, are we going to get to Washington? Or what's yeah, our I know there's yeah, people here. Yeah, I think to people see waiting for us. <laughs> watch some foam, and I know Dane is waiting patiently. Dane's like, <laughs> I want a clean smart. car today. Watch my, guys. Watch my car. I am incredibly patient. I will happily keep bringing you questions and comments. And uh, <laughs> it's going to rain all weekend, <laughs> and fine. so you know, I know it's not going to stay very clean. It'll get clean just so it can get dirty again. Yeah, I know it. It was snowing when they rolled up. It's like, oh, yeah, I know. Can't escape it. Okay, so we got our foamer prepped. Okay. Okay. Um, we do Detected have our already. Aqualine already connected, so that's okay. our 316 stainless. Uh, okay. So we're going to have fun with that. Do you want to okay. use and one of these guys on there? Yeah, Stand yeah, on? yeah. We'll, uh, we'll use the, the Cyclone, right? Yeah. Uh, wash mitt. Get my hand in there. Very nice. Very nice. Fits nice. My, yeah. my big old man hands here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, and then we got the liquidator to dry it off. So we're cool. all set. We got our wash bucket here. Yep. yep. Uh, so, so we're doing it by the standards, by the book, right? Yeah. We're not cutting any there's, corners. There's a, yeah, there's a grit guard in there. Yeah. It's, there's a grit it's guard okay. in there. You know, we cut corners every once in a while. It's mostly off camera, but you know, <laughs> it, it just, it, it's, a, it's a time thing. The trick guys. is it's you have the experience thing. to know when and where it's safe to do that. Yes. We, we, that's, that is very true. Yes. Right? And so, and what I like to do is I like to typically. There's no tip on this. Okay. I'm, there's no oh, tip got on it. that. So we're gonna do you want to put it. the tip on? Yeah, Look at I this got, thing. I got, I got just you know, the tip. What is this? <laughs> this sweet. is like, man, this is bad. So you'll feel that it's it's a little more girthy, right? To to yeah, use yeah, Matt's well, word. My hands are a little bit smaller, so but I mean it feels but pretty it's, big. It's in my bigger. Hands. So yeah, comparison <laughs> compared to that, maybe this is more my style. But you know, hey, man, whatever, dude. I don't judge. I'm just waiting so, for you to forget to seat the nozzle and pating. Oh, yeah, that's what you, he's right done that at many places. I made that mistake too many times, and it won't happen again. And you met the window. And so, um, what are we going to use for our? Uh, what are we going to use for our nozzle here? Oh, this right bad boy. Here. Okay. This guy. So that's going to go in. So this is a full 316 stainless steel Italian setup. Uh, one of the key differences in the lances. So you have a vented grip versus a molded grip. Yeah. Okay. Right. So this grip is static. It doesn't move. It's always on there. Uh, versus this one where you can actually loosen up the nut and actually slide it back or adjust it if you don't like where it's at on there. If okay. you're running a hot water pressure washer or have the ability it to vents. run hot water, it vents. Yeah. So this could potentially get warm, yeah. not burn you, but yeah. yeah. It can, no, I, it used can. To, I used to run a hot water pressure washer in my shop and yeah, that would be yeah. go with those rubbers, the rubber coated kind. Mm -hmm. And that would always get warm, especially on a day where you're just prepping, you're just washing cars all day. Yeah, so. yeah, exactly. Where do you put now, while you guys at? are getting started, I got a quick question for Rob That's here while question. you're doing that. Yeah. Uh, I've got Aaron Lindholm here asking an important question. 
where is Rob's Dixon flannel to match the crew? And I think I know the answer because I see it. a little tag that says he's Dixon right it, on it. Ladies and gentlemen, so he, he keeps that thing on him. Look at oh, it. Oh, I, don't, I don't leave home without it. <laughs> he is actually wearing home. a Dixon Outlaw. Yeah, yes, you guys are it. wondering. Yes. So uh, that way he uh, fits in with all this. His is just black. I actually have one of these Veloci Outlaws. That's wow, right. that's a good looking nice. shirt. Veloci Outlaw. I like that. It's very nice. I'll just tell you one of those perks. You know, oh, oh, it's oh. going to be great when I wear my Velo oh, Outlaw okay. with my uh, yeah, Velo I mean, GM hat. You know, all this mix well. match, you know, it's fine. <laughs> That's okay. It's anyway. So, um, anyway, is this all plugged in? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I believe so. Holy crap, that thing's got some power to it. <laughs> so, we sprayed it. Which nozzle setting is this back? We can back this out, or how does this work, right? So, that one's just straight. Yeah, yeah. You can turn it to adjust it if it's, you okay. know, a fan pattern, but. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm just thinking that's like straight line, but if you yeah. do it like that's that, okay. Just slice a hole right through my paint. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> no, I'm like, it's fine. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's it's it out. Not available in that way, but let me see. Can we have the, um, that thing's pretty powerful, man. Yeah. I think it could kill a guy. Well, it did. But yeah. that's probably where I'd probably use this, man. For this nozzle itself, <laughs> this would be my driveway cleaning nozzle, right? <laughs> Change my oil. Forgot to tighten down. Let's just say my oil filter, right? My drain plug leaking a little bit. Take a little bit of brake cleaner. Spray that bad boy. Let it sit for a second. Bust this thing out, right? Shoots that stuff right off. It's like magic. Yeah, Either that so. or the brake cleaner is magic, but that's besides the point. All right. Okay. We got now, a different tip. So now. I, did, I did. I did find this too. This is our old bottle. So just for frame okay. of reference, that hourglass shape. Okay. We'll just swap out these tips here. Okay. Let's see this. That's what I want. That's, that's what, what I wanted. Okay. It's just covered with a, a little melted snow from outside. Now, for reference, Dane's car is coated, which yes. is amazing. I and can't believe it's still holding up. And what, Opti? Sorry, that right? Opti, just I think he's got Opti sure on this, yeah. In fairness, it also has like a million other protective products on it from all over the place, so some may be better than others. <laughs> but underneath all that, there is a coating. <laughs> One panel might might go really well versus the other. Whew, what everybody this, came to see. This, I, this I thing, love, dude, this thing's like a that, gun. You want to hold that yep, hose there? You like you that gun? I, got we, it. I do like this gun. This feels like... You're, you're going to want to keep one now. I don't know, man. This thing's nice. Feels nice and sturdy. Now, Anthony, I have to ask, you're, you're going top to bottom, or bottom to top. Is it better to go bottom to top or top to bottom? What do you think? When it comes to rinsing, top to bottom, always. Top to bottom, always. But in today's video, I don't really know what's going on. It's been a long week, so bear with me, right? My top to bottom may look more like a bottom to top. You know, I know, I know the IDA, you know, preaches top to bottom, and a lot of people stand by it. Uh, I also know a good deal of professional guys that swear by going bottom to top. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things. Do you, do you wash in swirls or straight lines? It just depends on what you're into oh, at man. the end of the day, I guess, yeah. right? You know, I, it, different strokes day, for different for folks. Me, yeah. You know, it's, yeah. uh, it's all about a clean car at the end. I don't really judge people <laughs> on how they want to wash their cars. I just, I try to always tell them, you know, it's easier to wash your face Rather you than uh, washing the downstairs there? region first and then <laughs> go into your face, so I'm always a top. Oh down no, I don't. Yeah, I don't do that. I don't do yeah, that. Yeah, yeah that's I'm weird. Gonna, I'm always gonna wash my face so. first before I wash anything else. Yeah, good. Cause that's right. how breakouts right. happen. So, so you don't want to do that. Right. You gotta keep it clean, man. <laughs> that's right. I keep it clean. Apply that same okay. technique. So question. Okay. So this is a big thing right here. I want to point out. Okay. So Rob, can you connect a foam like a foam can of the PF22? to the end of a gun, or is it best to use it as a stub, stubby gun when Ooh, foaming? Great Does question. it change the pressure, or is there any difference in which the way that foam is laid? So if you're, wow. That's very, a, see, this is all about what question. we do. Sorry, yes, I just did yes, the hard yes. question. Boy, they the told me they were gonna take it so easy on me. So on a long enough lance, yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's an opportunity to, to lose pressure, yeah. but in this scenario with 20 inches, 36 inches, no. Okay. I mean, if you use the same concept about a hose line, so we're on a 50-foot hose line, yeah, maybe, yeah. give or take. 
You know, if it's you're running like 32 feet. Uh, <laughs> I know because I had to build it. Oh, all right, <laughs> 32. Uh, you know, let's just say 32 to 200 feet. Yeah. That additional length is good. You're going to lose a little Correct. bit of pressure loss okay. in there. But but in this scenario, if you go, if you take the lance out and go straight onto the gun, no, not really. Okay. Um, the biggest thing that, and so per, my personal preference is to use a lance. I like having the, the 20 inches of separation between myself and any potential spray back. Blow back anything that's going to go on. The way, if you're outdoors, wind kicks back. Um, I just like having a lance myself. Okay. 36 inches is, to me, a little bit overkill. Okay. 20 is, for me, right about perfect. Okay. But, but um, you know, I've definitely done the meso valve with, with an acid and alkaline wash with with nothing and so this guy I think is only like eight inches okay what does it look like to you uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, i don't know I don't, i'm not even gonna answer that <laughs> but but it I is true legit, though you that think was about a question <laughs> anthony how much how many feet of pressure washer hose do you have at your house <laughs> what four four feet five feet no no mine's you know mine's, more mine's like a 15 footer like a right. 15 yeah, yeah but okay 15. so and i've got a little 15 foot as well yeah um i'd like to go up to a 25 foot yeah and i when we've when i've plugged a 25 foot hose into it i haven't seen any major drop of pressure yeah um you know yeah now this is you know we're talking 30 feet to that yeah. and then we are talking another 30 feet mm -hmm. into the uh, pressure washer from there. Yeah. So we are over 60 feet okay. on our hose okay. line from the pressure washer. Yeah. yeah. Then on our exterior pressure washer, same machine, but we're almost 100 feet. Oh, yeah. interesting. To the gun. Interesting. And That's we true. do notice a slight a drop slight off of pressure but outside. But so not, not really to bad. plug items that I didn't bring, but okay. I'm gonna anyway. Okay. The great way to measure that is we have what's called a, a pressure regulator. Yes. Ah. And so you could hook that, quick connect it right into the set here. Yeah. And so it's out of the way, but it'll literally tell you what's coming to your gun. No yeah. way. Uh, and so for those that are, you know, wanting to keep the thing OG spec or dialed in. Yeah. You yeah. know, for those that really want to know, because even when okay. you buy a pressure washer that's say 3,000 psi, yeah, that's what it's capable of doing. But for most manufacturers, just like your car, your car can redline yes. at 8,000 rpm, but it doesn't go 8,000 rpm. Yeah. It's it's right in that 2,500. So same concept with pressure washers. Your pressure washer can go to 3,000, but the regulated usually 2300 mm -hmm. 2500 yeah so that that pressure regulator is actually a great way to figure out what you're actually running at it's like doing a compression test right absolutely and figuring out what the heck the numbers are and then getting very disappointed when something <laughs> happens and you're like well that's not good what's the fix for this right yeah. so yeah yeah i know i totally get it so do you want to demonstrate? Do you want to? I think yeah, probably. So, just, yeah, let's get so, some soap on uh, this. A couple car. quick tips. What I like to okay. do when I put the bottle on, you know, you saw me shake it a little bit, you know, just, I'll do a little mm -hmm. swirl. Yep. Just make sure it's all mixed around. For myself personally, so there's 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 uh, 12 clicks here. You can kind of hear that. Oh, yeah. You, oh, yeah. That's nice clicking. Uh, sound. So I, I personally like to peg it to the right. Uh, and what it is, it's bringing in air. So there's air intakes right underneath this gray cap. And so you're getting either a thicker concentrated version of foam or a more aerated version of foam. Gotcha. And that just really comes down to A, the result that you want, and B, what you're, you're using in your foamer. So for again, cool. for me, uh, we're using a pH neutral soap. Uh, full disclosure, you can use anyone's soap. They all work. Johnson Johnson's baby shampoo. Like I said, yeah. I've, I've foamed my kids with it, and yeah. it works. Yeah. Um, you know, we do have our foam soap, but uh, pH neutral. Uh, put two ounces in. Uh, so I peg this to the right. Uh, you narrow your fan blades to get that spray pattern that you want. Um, one of the built-in safety features is we have engraved marks here. And so our fan blades can rotate vertical or horizontal depending on what you're cleaning. And so if you want to rotate that horizontal, you'll see the engraved striation cutting across. Or if you want it upright, you'll see that pointed up and down. Yeah. So That's you never cool. want to look at this while it's on your, uh, you know, while it's on your spray handle for obvious reasons, but just subtle, little subtle things we've built into that. Cool. So again, we'll point away from the car, just to make sure. Okay. Very pretty soap, look at that. Nice pink to it. Yeah. Oh, that smells good. Yeah, you like that? I do. Wanna, you can add that to the all day line right there. <laughs> Two?
Oh, yeah, I yeah, think we man. need to uh, swap out some heads and show some people what, what these bad sure. boys do. Yeah. Apparently there's requests. Yeah. People are saying, hey, we want to see the I'll Toro. See we want to see off. what do, we want to see the 8-incher. Oh. Oh. I don't know if anybody's ever water. said that, but, you know, something <laughs> along those lines. So, again, uh, with the mezzo, you want to plug your foamer into the, the short end so it actually evens out. So people are like, oh, it's weird, short looking. No, it looks pretty good. We're gonna get uh, we're gonna get the full eight inches here. Okay, the full, the full. <laughs> I think that was a movie. Um, anyway, cake. Okay. All right, lay it down. I'd say lay it down that front bumper. Get that so in. My boss is probably just cringing in Minnesota right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. It is what it is. We're real people. Um, all right. So okay. and now show actually show here on camera the switch between the foam and the and, and the nozzle there. Just so yeah, click. and so it's a shuttle valve, and so it's literally bypassing uh, left and right. Uh, so if you want to go water, you, you hit blue for water. Okay. That's, that's really how we designed it, right? Your lance is there, water's coming through here. If you want to go detergents or soap, you hit red for that. Now, of course, subtle marketing, right? We did a red soap with a red button and a blue button for water. And yeah. Who'd have thunk? Right? Who'd have wow. thunk? It's genius. I thought of that. Impressive. Thank you. No, I'm kidding. Uh, anyway. All right, so uh, if you want to go water, you want to rinse. And we'll just get some of this off just so that we can showcase the product. Now, I did promise Dane that we'd actually wash this and not just. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, you guys can just keep refoaming it as much as you want. It's fun to watch. Oh, sorry. Glenn, you're getting all covered. It's getting foam. Getting okay, so we got to rinse off again. Oh, look at that. Look at that water just bead right off. That's a good coating there. It, it, yeah. We can't believe it's held up for this long. It really is amazing. <laughs> especially in my hands. Yeah, especially in Dana's yeah, hands. Dana's, so we're really uh, foaming here. It's been amazing. So again, uh, we were in water mode. Uh, we want to flip the foam. Touch of a button. Voila. Can we clap for that? That oh. was great. That was, that was. Thank Ricky you. says he's down, definitely man. buying a mezzo now. That was fantastic. Very entertaining. Right, so got our it watch smells bucket. great in here. A grit guard. Cyclone mitt. We're rolling. Levi, you going to jump in on this? I am in a second here. I'm going to get some more hands in on this. Get some posts to some folks here on the Facebook. Are you? Yeah. I got to roll up my sleeves. Um, I also uh, probably should change into my Crocs, but I don't have time for that, right? I know. I wish we would have picked out our Crocs first and put them <laughs> on prior to this. I roll, I roll chucks all day. I will, uh, for those, I will, for those cringing, I will warn like, oh you, it does, God, get, it does get slippery in here, Rob. Just, just be careful, okay? That's okay. It's all on camera now. All right. <laughs> it's all on camera. It's all good entertainment. <laughs> Now, while you guys are doing that, I do have a question here. They're just wondering what the uh, added weight of the attachment is to the gun. It's not a lot. How, how, do you know how much that weighs there, Rob? Uh, the foamer itself is just over a pound. It's about two pounds when it's loaded with a liter of uh, solution. Okay. And then the mezzo itself is about another pound. So, uh, I mean, it's no different than what you'd have on your lance. Okay. But give or take about two pounds, two and a quarter. 
Okay, perfect. And uh, also, oh, they were wondering uh, what the green nozzle you were here using. On, on camera, this soap is good. What green this, nozzle we were using? This feels good. No, what degree nozzle? <laughs> oh, this is the one that oh, comes uh, spec usually in the kit with the. So yeah. Because Contra here says he thinks it's a 40 degree nozzle. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 40 is pretty typical. Yep. Okay. Yeah, I like using a 40. If I'm doing like my, my everyday driver with like bugs and stuff, we're in the Midwest. Uh, I've gone down to a 15, but I usually try to stick to that 25, 40 degree yeah. mark. Okay, sure. Yeah, Rick is definitely buying a mezzo now after seeing that. <laughs> And we got some more people dropping in saying hi and some smiley faces, a bunch of emojis and stuff. But, yeah, basically people are just enjoying the show. Awesome. Right on. <laughs> Adam Huber asking if it's coded. <laughs> yes, Adam, it is. We just battled. They just touched that, <laughs> that did, We just touched pads. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's got to go for the show, it right? Was, it was show two swords well, clashing. Well, couldn't end the show without was. pads touching him, all right? <laughs> Dane, I have some bad news for you. Uh -oh. I don't know who I'm going to tell you on camera, off camera. <laughs> Your R badge on the front may or may not have just popped off. Oh, that's hilarious. Yeah, I've already put it on once really before. Adhesive. Don't feel bad. It was super glued on. Yeah, don't feel bad. Uh, Sydney and I literally just super glued that to the grill. <laughs> yep, that is super glue is what that is. Dana it's a, it's a real XKR, off. but the I'm R sorry. badge on the front is definitely the flimsiest thing that they ever put I'm on I'm sorry. <laughs> I'd say I'd buy you a new one, but it's a Jag, and I know parts are expensive, so <laughs> I'll buy you a sandwich <laughs> next week. <laughs> that's that's the sign it's of a real buddy huge. right there. Big dog in it. I just can't <laughs> see them, but... Uh, yeah, Dane, Dane likes to uh, likes a throaty growl. Yeah, they are four inch tips. <laughs> well, there's four of them. Like yeah, potato guns. <laughs> you get four. So, so technically, that's that's sixteen all put together. <laughs> there's four four inch tips. So. Okay, so you made good time. Look at you, man. You were you in the, you in that mitt power. We were Ooh. using the we we're using the pads, and I think you beat us. I love this. This, this that looks awesome good, man. Here. Really good. We might have to start carrying these. That's a good one. Yeah. Uh, oh, here's a question for Rob. Go Don't know if you guys me. can still hear me or not. Yep, we can hear you. Yep. Okay. Good. Yep. Uh, so this one's for Rob. It's from Kirby Thompson, asking, "How often do you need to do anything to the valve on the mezzo?" I'm wondering if he means like maintenance. Yeah. Oh, great question. Uh, you know, it's not the valve that, we, that we've found. Okay, so full disclosure, right, it's a new item. So it's only been on the market for about six months. Uh, the feedback we've gotten from people that are cleaning every day, all day long, and I'm talking a big trucking company, um, you know, who's doing 50 foot trailers and stuff like that. Yeah. The, there's been no problem with the valve. Um, we've had two instances, really rare, really isolated. Uh, the button popped off. Uh, yeah. In fact, you were one of them about five minutes ago. Yeah. No, it's so, just catches. And and, and, and yeah, so that's it. We haven't had any hardware or construction, any manufacturer. Um, okay, well, that's issues. good. Yeah. Cool. It's, it's a quality German design, man. It really is. I think mostly everybody's just excited to see the Jag getting some love, so I'm all for it. <laughs> yeah, Dane always tries to rope us into watching his car. <laughs> and he's always like, let's make a video. I got a great idea. And we're like, They've managed okay, to tell me it? no you know, almost like, every single time until now. Yeah. <laughs> like, Wait, what? Hold on. No, we're going to use this new soap. Dane, we've, I think we're just going to wash your car. I think that's all you want out of it. I mean, I could have picked a better day to do it, but. <laughs> yeah, you did. Yeah. You picked the best day. Yes. <laughs> Clearly worth it. <laughs> And uh, MTM Hydro helpfully pointed out in the comments there that the button pops right back on. Yeah, it does. Those uh, the little little uh, rubber yeah. buttons pop right back on. Right back in. Very right. easy. Didn't need to worry about it at all. Nah. 
As for that R badge, Anthony, you can just go ahead and uh, set that on a table. I'll take care of that. Just so you know, Dane, we didn't wash your wheels. That's all you, buddy. That's okay, they're coated, I'll take care of it. They got that C5 on them. You're also gonna need to clean your tips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't touch these off. Yeah, no, <laughs> I I'm gonna have to go to those with uh, a little more work. I didn't coat those, I should've. <laughs> This is a nice soap, Rob. This is a nice soap. Yeah, yeah it seems like it came you right know, off. Nice. You know, the reality is, this is a honest to God story. We spent 14 months developing the soap. The yeah. soap is 100% legit, man. I love it. I have to do. And uh, for people at home, what's the scent of that one again? It's like a cotton candy, it's, yeah, cherry. It's technically cherry. We call it our wild cherry perfoment. Gotcha. Right? We okay. foam in the, in the word. Um, but yeah, it's... It, Different people smell different things. It's cotton candy. I call it the summer of love. <laughs> <laughs> you know, shameless plug. Um, they showcase it on Motor Trend's Truck U. Um, it's been airing all summer. Actually, it was just on this over the weekend. Uh, Bruno Mazzo was like, oh, this stuff smells so good. I, I put, I'm going to put some behind my ears. It smells terrific. My wife's going to love this. And uh, <laughs> like, that's hilarious. Like. Oh, man, looking at my brake calipers up close. Mm. I really got to repaint those. Yeah, that'd probably be a good idea, buddy. I think I want to make them yellow next time. What do you think? Oh, commanders? I like that idea. I think that looks great. I actually really dig that idea. I don't know. I like the red myself. All right. Well, see, part of it is right. I'm thinking of wrapping the thing green, so. We did talk about that. Oh, there it hits the car. Like, please, <laughs> just your headlight, Dane. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> see, this is why you're using my car, because I'm, I'm pretty easy going with this yeah. stuff. <laughs> All right. I'm going to grab me a towel. Yeah, of course we got the. What do you guys? So you got the liquidator, the liquidator right? Liquidator here, yeah. I don't know what Levi's grabbing. I'm grabbing. I'll I'll grab I was gonna grab a liquidator also. I, well, that's too bad because I think they're all gone. I'm sorry, oh. Levi. All I'm we gonna, got left. I'm gonna grab my cell here, double twisters. See, of course these guys leave me when the drying work comes. <laughs> Now, now here's a shameless plug moment for uh, one of those liquidators. Okay. Are any of those the ones that uh, Anthony recovered? <laughs> I'm not sure. Anthony just brought it to me. He said, "Here." We there can you use. go, guys. I, awesome. I kind of think one of two of those might have been ones he actually recovered from what's, the dead. What's that? Yeah, I'll revive. Those were necromanced. Yeah. These, uh, these double twisters? Yes, these double twisters yeah. were necromanced. They were goners. I will, I will say and that that's, right now. And that's what I'm getting at is and, that you really can't tell. <laughs> and they are coming back. When you, when you actually bring it back from the dead, it's hard to tell the difference between that and an actual new one. Yeah. I just hate that we're not using a drying aid right now. This feels wrong. It's all right. <laughs> I am. And that's why they all said, eh, it's, it's Dane's car. It's the first car. time I've a car without <laughs> a drying aid in like, God, like months. The commenters will just get mad at you for me. <laughs> the beehive. No, I think everybody's just enjoying the show. Well, they finally get to see us work, right? Yeah. They, they've been waiting all week for it. They're happy to see it go down like this. I grabbed a small gauntlet. I probably should have gotten one of the bigger ones. Dane, you have little scratches in your paint. What do you think that's from? Are you going <sighs> off-roading yeah, in I this thing? He has. I don't know if you knew that. Taking he it up tried to take it up basin. the trail that uh, I did the Suburban at. 8th Street? Yeah. No. Yeah, he was trying to trying to go up there, and I was like, Dane, Eighth I don't Street. think you can follow me. And he's like, I'm pretty sure I can. And I said, no. And he goes, I'm the guy that daily drives. A Jaguar XKR. snow. I can do this. And I said, ah. I will be doing that this winter. Did all that happen, Dane? 
Uh, you know, maybe not quite all the way up 8th Street, but I did once, and I really regret this. At some point, I took it through a brushed car wash, and I never do that. Ooh. But there was something on it, and I was in such a hurry, I just went to the first one I could get to, and I regretted it immediately afterwards. Oh, this was probably like four or five months after having it coated. I just went and did that, and they've been embedded ever since. None of the stuff that I've done to the car has really added scratches other than that, I'm convinced. Hey, that's all right. Because I'm only using good products on it when it's me laying hands on the paint. Well, we all know Dane likes to take care of his car like it's a car, right? At the end of the day, you drive this thing, you have fun with it, you play with it, you know. It's meant to uh, meant to see a little, little abuse. <laughs> oh, see, okay. I'm gonna give Levi and uh, all, all you guys, Rob too, a chance to respond to this one because uh, we got okay. Frank here. And oh, can you hear me? Yeah, yep. we hear you. Okay, so I got Frank here in the comments bringing up a, a popular topic amongst okay. people who watch detailing videos. Yeah. If it was my car, they would not be wearing jeans and buttons, watches and jewelry. Oh, God, are all the scratches. Well, Sorry, Levi, Frank. tell them. <laughs> Just so you know, I've been doing this for 24 years. And I will tell you that I have a muscle memory in which I don't rub my body against paint jobs. I wear my wedding ring. I wear my uh, watch. I wear jeans, I do all kinds of stuff. I've got mic packs, I've got talkbacks, I got keys right here. I, I didn't put a scratch in that car and not. I honestly never have because my body has learned to stay away from a vehicle. It was one of the very first things I learned as a detailer mm -hmm. when I was 16 years old, um, was trying to keep my body and learn to not, you don't lean on a car. No, you lean away. You know, Even if you fall back, you know, you don't go for to grab the car, you just fall and take your yeah. licks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's a good point though. I did, you know, I did actually even prep for this. I, I usually carry a pocket knife. I took it out of my pocket, yeah. set off the side, well, took my phone out, but, um, I didn't worry always about my... get you for something. It's totally yeah, fine. I'm always <laughs> yeah. going to get us for something. But the point is, yes, we could have all put on some Snuggies, right? Like, well, there's actually, a, so Bowdoin's own makes a microfiber suit. Yeah, we could have worn that. And perhaps we can recommend that. We could recommend it. Yeah, the, yeah, the zippers. full fur onesie. <laughs> it, is, it is the full fur onesie. Or the it's, it's for, in the back. It's for people that want to get intimate with their car. Right. That's how it's you just, know? I think you said it was made from do. real drop bears. <laughs> it is made from real drop bears, yes. <laughs> yeah. And there's a lot of folks that like to wear joggers or sweats or house pants or whatever you like yeah. to call them. Some guys wear pajamas. Parachute pants, you know. But, uh, MC Hammer I will pants. tell you, I will yeah. tell you, and I know, you know, I've got a lot of professional detailers here in the studio, that you learn to hold your body away from the car. Yeah. Mm. But we all still have to create some, some form of a professional appearance. I can't go do a costume change and do some soft, comfy clothes just to walk. Oh, Anthony and I got Crocs, specifically for this we map. Did. We literally did. We love yeah. kicking those bad boys on, putting them in four-wheel drive. A couple and, uh, Croc charms on there just, just for good luck. <laughs> just enjoying <laughs> ourselves. Right. I know. That's right. So, That's explain to me. Uh, and, and any more questions, Dane? Uh, I got Scott Lee up there. That's good. Yeah, I threw up Scott there. Lee there because I just thought it was nice to see. He said, what's up, guys? It's been a blast watching you all week. Fantastic job to all involved. Thank you. Oh, Scott. Yeah. Appreciate Always around, nice brother. to see. Thank you so much. Yep. So yeah, uh, in addition to that, it's mostly just been people making snarky comments about you guys cleaning my car. So I think oh, we're all good, right. Oh, good, perfect. Oh, delightful. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> what we wanted. Our friends, right? <laughs> yeah, we love you guys. <laughs> so right uh, so we're, it looks like end of the hour. So uh, Rob, anything else? Plug whatever you got for everybody to, to check yeah, you guys out. Uh, definitely check out our social, uh, MTM Hydro Parts, uh, YouTube, uh, mm -hmm. Facebook, Insta. Uh, you can check out our site, mtmparts.com. We have, uh, you know, a lot of the educational content on there as well. Uh, that nozzle size calculator for anybody that really wants to dial in their, their nozzle sizes. Right. Um, but yeah, otherwise, you know, our contact info is on there. We're, we're actually a real company, guys. We have, uh, you know, 20 employees with a team of people that answer the phones and answer your questions. So feel free to give us a shout if you ever have questions and about products and, or how-tos. Yeah, so, and yeah. you can check out trcma.com for all the information and you can get in touch with Rob and the whole gang yep. uh, over there. So make sure you check out that site and it'll take you right to Bloji and then it'll take you to their site and all that yeah, good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. So. And thank you guys for having You're us. Welcome, we Brian. appreciate absolutely, it, man. man. It's been a blast. We appreciate it ourselves. And uh, yeah, all right. So 
We're I don't. I didn't hear that. We're gonna be tossing it. We're gonna be tossing it to Dane, and, and we're tossing and to commercials. To commercials. That's what we're doing, guys. So we've okay. got a fun little bit of commercials for you for our next hour. Here. Yep. Is a special announcement. It is by the Rag Company. Stay tuned. We're excited. We'll see you in a little bit. That's over there. Dusty old corral just outside the mining outpost of Denver, Colorado. Hook and loop prepare to engage in an old fashioned showdown. Who's the fastest draw? Who's the strongest? Turns out, these two pilgrims are equally fast and equally strong. The strength of their engagement makes the pads last longer and reduces heat. Don't be a dummy. Get a Rupee's Claw Pad Tool. Yeehaw! Hey guys, Levi for The Rag Company, and I wanted to direct you over to our FAQ channel. Now, our FAQ channel is our way of answering all those questions you had as quickly and efficiently as possible. The FAQ channel is very simple. From whether you're just starting out detailing and you need to learn how to wash a car, or maybe you have a question on what a rinseless wash is, or something as simple as how do I wash my microfiber towels, you'll be able to find it at 
the Rag Company FAQ channel. If you're watching this video, you're probably wondering how long can you store Optimum No Rinse inside of a bucket for? The difference between an open cell and a closed cell foam pad. Should I wash my microfiber towels after using a spray sealant? So we're gonna be answering that question and more in today's FAQ video. Well, there you have it. Hopefully now you know a little bit more about the FAQ channel. And if you're looking for it, go to YouTube and type in the Rag Company FAQ and make sure you subscribe so that you'll be aware of whenever a new video comes out. Now, if you didn't see your question answered, feel free to send us an email or leave a comment right there on a video and we will be sure to add that to our next video. So hopefully you enjoyed it and uh, can't wait to see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Hey, what's up everyone? Matt Mormon, Obsessed Garage here. Man, I'm sad. Seam is one of my favorite, favorite weeks of the year. I normally go the day before and I want to be there from the crack of dawn all the way until they close uh, and then a little bit beyond and walk the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to miss out on my 12 or 13 miles of walking this year, but um, glad to see the, the right company and uh, a lot of the other you know, amazing vendors that they're putting together or are putting on a virtual type event to share with all of us. Uh, sorry I couldn't be there. It's a bit of a hike for me to get out to, uh, out to Boise. Uh, but I think um, I think the information they're going to provide is going to be of value, and uh, I'm excited to watch it and just be a part of it. But I uh, wanted to say what's up, and um, man, hopefully next year we can be back out at SEMA. It's so much fun finding new products, learning about new things. Uh, every company feels the need to launch something new and exciting, uh, and uh, you know we're, we have a little bit of a letdown this year, but at least. Uh, at least everybody's putting together some uh, itinerary to get that information mm. out there because that's one of my favorite parts of the whole experience. So anyway, well, just wanted to say what's up and uh, I guess I'll catch you guys uh, catch you guys next year. See you soon. Wow. Yeah, that was awesome, man. That was exactly, you know, it's nice to see everybody coming together to help us out with this. Having Matt, having Pan, having yeah. Ivan, uh, having our guys in Europe, uh, yeah. Rag Company Europe, having John Hole, yeah. you know, and then this whole week of stuff. A I lot. mean, it's been from bought. Tuesday, we had Koch, we had, uh, who did we have in the afternoon on Tuesday? I am so lost on <laughs> what we've done. My brain's right now. So I'm sorry, fun. guys. We love you all. It's just right now we've we're had thinking. We've busy, busy who, day. Who we have had, we had? We've but, had everybody. Yeah, we've had everybody that's been here, which has been yeah. awesome. I mean, Thursday when we had Color Lock yep. and IK here in the morning. Yep. Uh, when we had uh, PNS in the morning of mm -hmm. Wednesday. Yep. You know, our solution after, finish. Our, we had. Yeah, we had solution finish and oh Kevin gosh. Davis. Kevin Davis. And um, was, I mean, it just keeps we going. We had Buff and Shine. Buff we had Rupes on Tuesday yep. afternoon. That was nice to be able to start it off with our buddy Dylan. Yeah. You know, be yep. able to kick it off. Lake Country, Lake Country Power Tools. I mean, just <sighs> it's it's been amazing. And then it's today, ladies and gentlemen, you got to watch the boys from G Technic do their stuff. Yep. You got to see our old buddy Scott from Koenig Heck yeah, hanging man. out here with us, and then. Uh, our friend Justin Pate, who uh, we're really, hopefully the uh, border's open, we can get him back here to yep. hang out with yep. us. We need another um, Rap Institute Live. We need live another Rap we Institute need. Live. We need, a, we need to do some stuff yep. here. You know, yep. we've got this new facility. This was kind of our reason to kind of kick it off, show it off to the world. Yeah, it was. Guys, you're going to be seeing a lot of great content from us in the next year. And uh, we're super, super excited because we now have a facility to do that in. We and, do. We and do. that's one of the great things. So. Yeah. Um, what else we got going here, Anthony? We got like, you know, just, I think that's basically it for the day. Yeah. So that is kind of it for the day, right? Oh, okay. We've been keeping something under wraps now for a couple of weeks. We've hinted a couple things at it, but we haven't really quite revealed mm. what we've had up it's our sleeve studio. yet. This is a, not quite the studio, oh, right? Cause we did reveal else. the studio, you know, actually several weeks ago, but people got to see the process of where the studio once was oh, and, and, and where did. it is now, right? Yeah. And so they've seen that. They've seen the history of the Rag Company. They've seen where the Rag Company started and where it is now. And this has been through every feature of every day of Tier yeah. SEMA, yeah. right? As well as our infamous hype video that we shot, right? Pepsi, Dixon, 
riding through the mountains, bangs. right? Bangs, pulling up to the studio, looking sharp, feeling sharp. Mamba and wheels. Mamba wheels. Yeah. Monty wheels, it, Koenig wheels. I mean, just the, the whole nine it's, yards. It's, it's been really, really fun, but we have been holding out on you guys because there is one last secret that we can't wait to reveal with you, and we're going to go ahead and see how that works. He's actually driving it. <laughs> wow, that is uh, something, right? <laughs> well, what do you think? What is this? Did you get a jewel with this, or? <laughs> Dang, how wow. did it get so many leaves on it? What? You I were... smoke tires, not vape. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. So this, Dane, <laughs> what is this Tell car? Tell us all about it. What is let this? Me, let me turn it off oh, here okay. first. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Holy smokes, this thing is a mess. Very dirty. Yeah, and nice, this, right? Uh, kind of. What, what's, what's the goal? What, what are we doing with this thing? Well, you know me. I bring in a car, looks a little rough. We've had some better luck other times. We have. Yeah. Other We've times done some that, stuff. not so much. Yeah. There was the Montero. But that was pretty yeah, bad. We, we won't talk about that right okay. now. Japanese right. cars that are black tend not to be my forte. I get okay. it. Okay. Okay. But okay. Uh, when it comes to the Subaru here, I think we have potential. Okay. I think okay. there's real right. potential here. Well, okay. I will say, I'm actually kind of excited to play with this thing because uh, it's not as bad <laughs> as it looks, but it is rough. Right. You know, in that video you guys saw this. Uh, this little car uh, is going to be the new Rag Company project car. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good project for car? For 2021. That's right. We're going to be doing everything right. we <laughs> can to yeah, make everything this thing We'll minimize the good. wrong things yeah. if we can help it. Yeah. So we're going to spend the next year working on this car. Yeah. We're going to be going through the paint as in-depth as we possibly can. We're going to be doing PDR. We're yeah. going to be doing some interior repair. We're going to be doing a little bit of mechanical stuff. We're going to yes. be polishing this paint out. We're going to be probably getting some parts repainted. Yeah. But the goal is to uh, make this into a pretty awesome car. Now, this is that uh, funky root beer kind of it's color. Actually, it's called a Java Black I Pearl. Java Black Pearl. It, it has it's such a unique look when the sun gets it just right. Well, you get this weird kind of greenish It doesn't look like that right now. Tinge in yeah. the but flake. It's awesome. It will. You guys are and that's one of the coolest things. It's got a lot this. of different colors of flake in it, uh, and it does have that brown tint to it, but it also looks black in and some I light. I believe so. it's a fairly rare color. They only did it one year. That's yeah. even better. And so. this is a first year STI to the United States. So Correct. this is kind of not really a collector cart, but it's low miles. It's, you know, it's got a lot going for it. I'm excited. Yeah. I think this yeah. is going to be kind of fun. I'm ready to get my hands in it. And uh, basically, you guys are going to see a lot of this. You're going to see a lot of videos about yeah. this car. 
This is going to be kind of the uh, the new uh, pet of the uh, Rag Company team here. The TRC and Rex to, is what this thing is. TRC <laughs> Rex is what we're calling it, and yeah. uh, it is uh, it is a WRX STI. Yeah. What year is it? 2004. 2004. 2004. How many miles does it have on it, Dane? Oh, uh, let me take a look. I know quick. it's in the 60s. 60s. About 60,000 miles on it. Uh, we're super excited because this is a very uh, well-loved vehicle. One owner. One. Uh, yeah. We're yeah. now the second owners. The Rag 65 Company. 65 and change. 65 and some change. So, for those of you that know, this is a perfect project car for us to work on. And our goal, or at least my goal, is to get this thing <laughs> looking cleaner and better than your Evo. What? <laughs> That's not even possible. Yeah. I Dude, mean, I'm, uh, I'm from throwing, one rally car Dane, to go another. grab me that towel over there okay. on the hood of your car. Uh, uh, where, where is it at? I'm here? just telling you that, that, you know, I think. You think oh, this, you think this right has there. as much potential as my Evo, right? The rival does. of this car. I know it does. Well, see, the fun part will be, you could take it from someone who like took care of it from day one versus this and its right. current state, Bring not the back. best. Thank you, Dane. But we'll get there. And let's see if they could stack up. Do you just throw that? He threw down the gauntlet. Down? Of course. I literally he just threw to. a gauntlet down. This car is going to look better <laughs> than your Evo when we are finished with it. Dang. That's how much I have faith in us getting this project done. Uh, you know, I think the people at home might want to take a look under the hood, around it a little bit. What Pop, do you say we yeah, open it up? Yeah, why don't you butterfly this bad okay. boy and uh, let so, everybody see? Excuse now, excuse me, right here. We are going to be I bringing a lot of content. Our plan is to utilize a lot of the folks that you saw here in. TRCMA to okay. utilize some of their products in this build. Now, we've already been in contact with Koenig Wheels and we are already set to get a set of wheels for this. We okay. also have the original BBS wheels we for do. this vehicle. So go yeah. ahead, open right. it up. You guys ready to see this? Okay. We have our work cut out for us. <laughs> Just a little bit. Mm. Mm, Just mm, a little mm. bit. Now, like we said, this was a one owner vehicle and well, that owner you know, they tried. They run it through the car wash. They, they did their best. It was a daily driver for them, uh, but they still didn't drive it a whole heck of a lot to have 60,000 miles on it. Now, I don't mean to be that pedantic guy, but it actually had three owners, but two of them owned it for a very short amount of time. So right. well, one guy had it for a longer period of time. I just know he's long. watching. Okay, I want good. to make sure okay, he's, good. he's well, all aware. The point is, <laughs> uh, you know, he enjoyed this car, but yes. he didn't get it detailed all that often. Mm, not so, so much. The inside, he's done a very well, uh, good job of keeping it nice, keeping it clean, keeping yeah. it look really, you know, the way it needs to be. And most of these cars are modded to death. Oh, and yeah. this you is a soupies. very, very <laughs> stock looking vehicle yeah. that allows for us to do some stuff, some yeah. tasteful things. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be pulling from Anthony's uh, knowledge to uh, make sure we make those uh, <laughs> nice little spots on there to make this a good looking vehicle. Now. <laughs> Pepsi has already said they're thinking about wrapping, doing a Pepsi wrap what? on this. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know about you guys. I'm pretty excited of about that. Of course he didn't know this. Um, <laughs> but we're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff. Now, one of the goals is we would like to be able to host another Rap Institute live here. Yes. Yeah. We'd love to wrap Dane's Jag. But we'd also maybe I'd like to that. do <laughs> maybe like an old school rally style. We could. Uh, yeah. Livery on this. Full race livery. Oh, you know, we do man. a Jag livery yes. livery on that. We do something on this. Just something fun, but we give it our own rag company twist mm -hmm. on it. So a lot of cool stuff that we're going to be doing. So new using that new hashtag TRC Rex, WRX. Yes. This is going to be our new T-Rex, yeah. basically. So we're excited about it. We're really <laughs> going to have some fun with it. Guys, what else do you want to say about this thing? Well, I mean, we've been getting a good look around the outside of it. You kind of see where the things are. Did you and take anybody into the interior yet? For, yeah, I mean, okay. that's one of the impressive things about it is the interior. With a couple little exceptions, it's very well-kept original compared to the way you see most of these right. looking. Yeah. So when you come in here and you look at the steering wheel, there's obviously opportunities for improvement there. I think our friends at Color Lock I think Color Lock knows a thing or two about what to do with that. And uh, when you look down at the seats, these seats are, uh, you know, they're kind of notorious for not looking great. Suede Alcantara, so we're, we've got some perfect cleaners for these yeah. seats to really get and them, that's gonna fix bring those. them back. A couple of those holes might have to be reupholstered yeah, and that's okay. A little tear here or there, but you know, nothing world ending here. No, we're not at be all. Right. And let's, let's be real. Yeah. We can easily find another pair of STI seats. We could. They do, yeah. show up. They do pop up quite a bit. So now that's not I'm looking reasonable. at the dash. Probably the one thing I would say is 
Not great. Is that spot right below the center vents there? It looks like it broke. It maybe was a cup holder. It is a cup time. holder, and it has disappeared. Yes. So we're but gonna be I think you can get that in some... any WRX Impreza, any any. We're going to be line. looking for some parts. Yeah. So there are a lot of fun stuff, and this is going to be our project car. And our goal is to fix this thing up, enjoy it, make some great content on it, and then we are going to be putting this car up for sale. Yes. And our goal with that is to take that money and buy something else. Yep. And that is going to just hopefully keep bouncing. We plan on growing this up to where, I don't know, maybe we get something even more insane than uh, a little Subaru. Yeah. Now, right. uh, one of the fun things is here in the trunk, there is, well, a part around back original there the parts trunk, here in a nice uh, little bin that the owner back here. so kindly included for us. Uh, there is a bit of a gasoline spill, I believe, happened on the mat in there. Oh, yeah. So that's going to be fun to deal with. We'll probably just replace that outright. There's certain yeah, things, Dane, like where nice I'm going to tell you right now, fragrance. it's going to make more sense <laughs> and it's going to cost less to replace oh, yeah. some of these things. Well, However, with that said, mm -hmm. I do want to try our best to try to bring some of this stuff back to life. I mean, yeah. you know, yeah. with paint being the most expensive thing probably on this car, um, because the motor is in flawless condition, the paint is probably going to be the most expensive yeah. thing next to the PDR. Now, so Dylan really has sure. already stated on a, one of the comments, he's ready to throw down mm. on this paint whenever <laughs> we are ready. We're going to have to get him up here. Yeah. One of these we days next year here. and get him on here when we can do that. We're going to build, like I said, lots of great content. You know, when we decide to coat this thing, oh. you know, the boys from G-Technic are going to be back out here. We're going to go, you know, take everything off. And with our lift, we can put this on the lift, pull all the wheels no off. Problem. We can do a ton of stuff and really utilize this space the way it was meant to be used, which we're really, really excited about. Yeah. Oh yeah, That's, it's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a long-term project, guys. This is not happening overnight by any means, but we got some plans on where we're taking this in the future. If this works out, you never know what might else turn up uh, in the lineup after that. Would be funny is if we sell this, you buy it and your dad buys the Jag <laughs> and then that becomes our next car and we're like, man. What a weird I small world it'd be. Uh, didn't want that car. Very, well, small world. <laughs> it would be very, means we didn't really sell it. No, so the no. good news is we're planning on doing some really, really big things and we're going to yeah. need a lot of your guys' help. So if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the Rag Company YouTube yes. channel so that you don't miss any of this awesome content that we're going to be building over the next year. Yep. And uh, share the videos with your friends. Videos. That's the other thing. If it's not just detailing friends you have, you have car friends too, I bet. If they're into Subarus, this is a great opportunity to show them what's possible with something that has, you know, a little rough around the edges look and feel to it. Things are possible. Well, and yeah. one of the great things is we're going to be also teaching folks. So mm -hmm. yeah. in these videos, you're going to be learning these same tricks at home on how to do this stuff. So even on your own car, maybe you've got the same style paint, or maybe you've got a finish that's just a little duller and you want to learn how to polish it out. You want to yeah. learn how to clean up the seats, the interior, all that stuff. All the stuff that you've come to love from us, we're going to be doing it on this car as well. Absolutely. And we've got a ton of really cool pieces in the pipeline, so yes. to speak, from all the different companies that are going to be launching new products that we're going to be debuting with this vehicle utilized on this car. So a lot of cool stuff coming down the pipeline, and it's one of those things that, like, it couldn't have come at a better time, yeah. right? Yeah, we've it was got a good time. People, people got company. some spare time right now. And yeah, well, and with Rag Company Media Access, you guys have yeah. gotten to see, and we've kind of introduced you to all of our favorite friends and, and companies that we utilize around the world. And this little car, well, it's going to be a lot of fun. So we've got a lot of cool stuff that's going to be happening. We've got some maybe some uh, custom air fresheners that we're thinking for, ah. for TRC Rex yeah. and yeah. Uh, little something, you know, some appropriate got a little, air fresheners. Yes, we've got a little kind of stuff that you can take home for that. Maybe we'll do yeah. some stickers or some shirts or something with the car, Absolutely. you know, just to get some people excited. And hopefully, this is going to be our fourth character. You know, maybe we'll do the podcast from it one of these days. I don't <laughs> I know. Mean, Who knows? Could. That would right? be fun. So yeah. the one thing I really want to stress with all of this is that it's not going to be a quick one and done kind of deal. We're going to go really in depth with we this. We are. We are absolutely going to put big attention as into much the details, time as we can. more so than we've even done before. And I think a lot of people will appreciate the angle. We well, we look this. at like what we did to your old wagon. You know, we did yeah. a full series breakdown on a lot of stuff that we did with that wagon. Yeah. The problem was we didn't have this facility. We were doing right. all of it by the seat of our pants and out in the, you mm -hmm. know, we were doing it out by the uh, dumpster back in the day. You yeah. know, that was always fun to have uh, do our, what we called our dumpster hangs. Yeah. Oh, you know, hangs. but yep. now we have a studio to be able to work on this in any type of weather. We don't have to worry about 
<laughs> containers and, and pallets of it's product coming in. It's a little bit classier. In. Yeah, we're able to actually say. work. You know, we'll, we'll take the uh, Rag Cobra off the, uh, the stand and put TRC Rex on there, which yep. we're super excited to have. And it can join the uh, family of vehicles that we yeah. have here at the Rag Company. Uh, with some cool names. It's going to be fun. So It's going to be so fun. I'm really excited about it, and uh, I know you guys are too. to film stuff, too. Jimmy's so like chomping at the just... bit for this. Oh, man, he's ready so to make it So what happen. are some of your things that you want to see on this? What are some of the wish lists you mm. have for it? Okay, so obviously I love this paint. I think there's a lot of hidden potential in it. I'm really looking forward to seeing how it turns out. Once we polish it up, I really want to see it just glistening in the sun. I want to see those hidden characteristics in the flake really jumping out because we did an amazing job bringing this paint back to, well, as good, if not better than new condition. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anthony, what about um, you? I am excited. I, I think I, I'm, 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 of course, I'm, of course, excited for the paint. I'm excited to see what we can do um, with the suspension components because mm. I know that this thing does need some work uh, in terms of the struts and things. Everything's mm -hmm. going to be getting replaced. Um, so I want to do something really, really nice. I want to do something right. And so uh, that on top of, uh, you know, the set of Koenig wheels and the set of BBS that we're going to be refreshing. I can't wait to just see this in, a, in a, an OEM Plus mm -hmm. look. And that's, that's what gets me going. That's OEM Plus, spot, man. I'm right all about there, that. OEM Plus. And yeah. so once we can get it to that point, I'll, I'll, I'll be pretty happy. I'll be looking forward I'm to excited it. to get the interior dialed in. And then I'm really excited because we do have that lift. We can lift the oh, car yeah. up and yeah. we can really get into it. We can do... You know, like you did the other day where you did a wheels off detail. I did. You know, we can get in those fender wells. We can really actually get this thing clean and looking awesome. Yep. And who knows, maybe we take some fenders off and wash them out too and make sure everything's looking good. We take some bumpers off. We're going to go Nobody in can stop us. depth <laughs> detailing with this and it's going to be really, really fun for you guys. So, yeah, gentlemen, without further ado, I just wanted to say thank you and thank you to all of you who have watched all over the world. I mean, we've got friends everywhere and it's fun to have you guys all here with us this week. It's been a very long week. It's been a very exhausting <laughs> yeah. week. I wanna thank every single person uh, that has watched. I wanna thank every single one of our vendors that have shown up here in person. Yeah. You know, we've had some issues. We've had some flight change. I mean, it's, it's, it hasn't been easy to get everybody here, but it worked. And huge thank you to our partners and sponsors in this, which was Pepsi, uh, Koenig Wheels, and Home to Suites by Hilton. We mm. couldn't thank you enough. And Capital High Video uh, Broadcasting uh, Team, which has been amazing. <laughs> Literally, ladies and gentlemen, we couldn't have done it without, a, without them. So for we've real. got some great teenagers behind the cameras that have been helping run this, and they've been doing this a lot for school credit and some real world experience. Yep. And it's been fun to have them here so that you guys could experience this so thank you to them and uh i think that's it boys that's it man that really is it i mean if we I'm got sad. anything sad left to say it's just a whole bunch of thank yous yeah because this has really been a it's been an amazing week it has. Just, we had no idea how this was going to turn out when it came from the beginning there we were all kind of just riding that that wave of like here it comes here yep. it comes yep. and then when it started to happen when the things went live it kind of had a weird calm come yes, over. Yes, exactly. At least some of us did, yep, I think. I felt that. And you just kind of went into that, that state where you're like, all right, time Let's to do, do it. it. Time to do it. So we did, and we made it this far. And without you guys watching, it wouldn't have been possible. So I just want to say a thank you to every single one of you watching right now. You made it possible. Yeah. Yep. And that's that. There we go. And uh, as always, guys, you can still find anything. If you missed it or you want to rewatch the segment that you saw, go to www.trcma dot com for all the information and this is still available on youtube it's going to be available on facebook under the rag company yep. uh facebook yep. page so you can go through there and rewatch any yeah, of those they're there forever share it share it with friends share it with family let them know if there's something maybe they had an idea they were wondering Ooh, about you, you know? know i just thought of something it's also on twitch yeah. I don't know how that works uh we've got 20 followers <laughs> on twitch yeah. so thank you to every single one of you who joined Score. us on twitch that was awesome. I honestly don't know what I expected, but 20 is more than I expected. So hey. that's pretty cool. <laughs> we thought we'd try <laughs> something new, right? So, yeah. And with YouTube going down, it's always good to have backups in place. Yeah. But what I wanted to say was you guys watched the show. You saw it. We experienced it all for the first time. And now I'm asking you, the audience, what did you think? Let us know in the comments. Tell us what you liked, what you think we can improve for next time. Would you like there to be a next time? I think we'd like there to be a next time. I think we're planning on doing another and one of these. I think the vendors are all on board. The brands definitely like it. So let us know. We want that feedback, however you send it to us. 
we would really appreciate that. And that's it. There you go. Thanks, guys. We'll catch you next time.